Welcome back to another edition of KLHS. I'm Hannah Sanders. And I'm Emily Klink. We've got a great show for you today, but before we talk about that, here's a sneak peek from our in-studio meteorologist, Taylor Barfreddy, on our upcoming weather forecast. Thanks guys. Today is already looking to be very chilly and rainy, but we will be seeing those same low temperatures throughout the week. That's all I have for now. Back to the front desk. Thanks, Taylor. And later on in the broadcast, we'll have Erica at the Athletic Desk give you the inside scoop on Blue Jay Athletics. All that and so much more coming up next. This is KLHS. Students, just another simple reminder that you cannot move around during Liberty Hour, so please pick a spot and stay there. On a completely different topic, reporters Dane and Brett went around and found some of those roamers and asked them a couple of questions. This is The Word with Dane and Brett. If there are six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? Two? Two. Two apples. It's four apples. You took away four. If it costs 12 cents per dozen donuts, how much does 100 donuts cost? It's a lot of math. 12 cents for a dozen donuts? How much is, how much is 100 donuts? I have no clue. 100 cents, one dollar. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain in the world? I have no clue. It was still Mount Everest. Mount Everest? I don't know. It was still Mount Everest. It just wasn't discovered. What? Spell the word elk. E-L-K? Say it twice. Elk, elk? Say it three times fast. Elk, elk, elk? Say it four times fast. Elk, 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 elk. What do cows drink? Milk. Elk. Like the animal. Like the animal. E-L-K. Say elk three times fast. Elk, elk, elk. Say elk four times fast. Elk, 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 elk. What do cows drink? Milk. E-L-K. Say it three times fast. Elk, elk, elk. Say it four times fast. Elk, 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 elk. What do cows drink? Water. The word elk, E-L-K. Say it three times fast. Elk, elk, elk. Say it four times fast. It, 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 it. Say elk four times <laughs> fast. Elk, elk, elk. No, we're just gonna cut, cut, cut. Spell the word elk. E L K. Wait, no. W O R D. No, wait. <laughs> if a rooster lays an egg on top of a barn roof, which way does it roll? Down. What? It doesn't roll. It's a, a rooster laying egg. <laughs> it doesn't roll because it's on top of the roof. In a nest. Uh, hopefully in a nest. Roosters don't lay eggs. Oh. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Roosters don't lay eggs. Oh. <laughs> All right. Barnes' roofs are flat. So that means... It didn't roll. Or a rooster didn't lay an egg, because roosters can't lay an egg. It doesn't roll? Why not? Why would it roll? 
I don't know. <laughs> is it on top of a roof? Yeah, but wouldn't... What if... What if the roof is flat? <clears throat> or maybe because roosters don't lay eggs. Line for requesting recommendation letters from their counselors or teacher. The advanced notice will allow time for a quality letter to be produced. The timeline is located on the LHS counseling website and posted throughout the building. Sophomores and juniors are invited to register for the PSAT. Registration is due by tomorrow and the exam is offered on October 14th at LHS. Registration is available on the front page of the LHS website. LMS presents the Canterbury Tales on October 2nd and 3rd at 7 p.m. in the Liberty Performing Arts Theater. Come and see these colorful medieval characters as they provide lots of laughs while having a storytelling competition. This show combines the humor of Monty Python and Saturday Night Live as the stories take a hilarious turn. Tickets are just $5 and are sold at LMS and online at showticketsforyou.com. Attention Students Team has its kickoff club meeting Thursday, October 21st in Room 30. Team stands for Technology Education Association of Missouri. This club gives students the opportunity to take their class projects to state competition. For more information, contact Mr. Blocklinger or Dr. Miller. Orchestra will be having first Fridays this week on October 2nd. Sheridan's will be selling ice cream, so bring your $3 and enjoy. The or orchestra will also be selling tickets for the pancake breakfast breakfast this week. Tickets will be sold during lunch at the cafeteria for $5.50. The pancake breakfast will be this Saturday from 8 to 11 a.m. Medical Leaders of Tomorrow Club is having their first meeting this Friday, October 2nd and room 510 during Liberty Hour. Taylor Barfreddy, our meteorologist, now stands with us at the desk today. I know the temperatures are swiftly getting cooler, and I'm loving this weather. I know. I'm so excited that I get to wear fall clothes, although from what I've seen of the forecast, we're not exactly ready to go into fall yet. So, Taylor, what do you have for us? Well, I know I had to stop and get a hot chocolate at the nest today because it was very chilly, but let's head on over to the green screen, and I can give you a little more. Today we are looking at a high of 79 with lots of showers throughout the day and tomorrow will be 72 with full sun. The low temperatures will be sticking around for a while so you better pull out your jackets because it's beginning to look a lot like fall. That's all I have for today. Back to the desk. Typical fall weather. Thanks Taylor. And now to Erica Schmitz who stands by with the latest in sports. Erica? Yesterday we mentioned that Lady J's golf team was competing at districts. We are happy to say that they are the 2015 district champs. Girls volleyball beat Pleasant Hill in three sets. The girls' tennis team begins districts today and will be playing at Clayview Country Club against Platte County at 4 o'clock. The varsity boys' soccer will have a match tonight versus Blue Springs at Liberty Middle School. And we'll also have, they will also have a match Wednesday at 6.30 against St. Joe Central. Varsity girls' softball will be playing a home game against Park Hill at 4.30. Volleyball will have a conference match Thursday versus Truman at home. Friday night, Liberty Football will play Park Hill South at, Park, at the Park Hill District Stadium. Just a reminder, if you would like your sports stats on the broadcast, tweet us at KLHS18. That's all I have for today. Back to the front desk. Thanks, Erica. That's all we have for you today. We'll be back next. We will be back tomorrow with more. For Hannah Sanders, Taylor Barfetti, Erica Schmitz, and... Olivia Book and all of our production crew. I'm Emily Clink. Have a great day.